All right, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, print your own stickers at home. It's a really easy process. Pretty inexpensive as well. What you're going to need: scissors, straight edge, and then either some Priority Mail, just regular stickers. You can get these online, the Priority Mail website, or what I like to use is um, white shipping labels for whatever type of printer you have. I have an inkjet here, and yeah. Um, pretty good all around not too bad price wise that's what they look like just all white shipping labels peelable backing pretty nice and then last thing you're gonna need is either this stuff right here and this is called contact paper this can run kind of expensive at times you can find this at your local art store from nine to twenty dollars depending how much you get uh, this is used to laminate the stickers and make them sort of waterproof I guess the one downside to using contact paper though is it makes your stickers a little bit heavier and a little bit plasticky feeling. An alternative to contact paper would be this stuff here, Ace Premium Enamel. It doesn't have to be Ace brand, just any real uh, clear gloss coat that you can put over top of your sticker. Um, it works really nice. Only downside is, well there isn't really many downside, it just makes your sticker a little bit papery. Now these two items are optional, but I would recommend them highly due to the fact that they make your sticker last a lot longer and they make your sticker look a lot better in the final process. Um, yeah, and here are some examples. Uh, pretty high quality. This is this is the um, laminated sticker as you can see it has that gloss. Real kind of feels a little plasticky, a little slick. Uh, right here, this is the clear coated sticker. It's hard to see, but there's that little, there's a little bit of gloss on it, but yeah, it waterproofs your sticker a little bit, makes it feel a little bit more high quality, but it feels better in the hands. And then here is no finishing on it. Uh, as you can see, nothing really, no real shine to it, it's real papery. So yeah. Now let's get started. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to get on your computer and you want to load up some type of design program or maybe just the image you want to print out, it doesn't really matter. And um, I just have a little image of Bobby from King of the Hill right here, it's kind of a funny image. And then I, I personally use GIMP as opposed to Photoshop seeing as GIMP is free and I'll leave a link below for where to get GIMP and um, yeah, it's for OS X and Mac so it works, real, works really good, pretty powerful program. And you're just going to want to print out your image onto the sticker paper. And when you do that, you want to put the sticker paper in face down. So when it prints out, the design will be on the top. Alright, now, so what you're going to want to do is take your final image, make sure it has all the bells and whistles that you want on it, and you're going to want to take it and open it in preview if you have a Mac. I think there's a program similar to this on Windows, but I'm not too sure. I'm not a big Windows user, and you're just going to want to go to File, Print, and then copies per page, I do from nine, from six to sixteen, uh, just because it makes a little bit smaller sticker. As you can see, like if you want a larger, it just keeps on making the sticker smaller, but you get more per page. What you're gonna want to do is just take your sticker paper, sticker paper. You see white side insert this with the print side up. And then you're kind of want to presets. I always put it photo on plain paper just so I get the highest quality possible. Uh, I just this is just a personal preference. You can put it on a lower quality setting if you want to. Now you just want to hit print and just wait for it to print. All right, as you can see, final image is printing out of the printer onto the sticker paper. The white side was face down, and now it's coming out face up, as I explained earlier. Now the next step when this is done printing. We're going to take it to the lamination or uh, finishing process, however you want to call it. And then we'll be done with our stickers. You just have to cut them out, and then, yeah, they're yours. Design's pretty high quality. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to get, well, for first, I cut out just a smaller sheet of stickers, just for uh, demonstration purposes, so it's a little bit easier to handle. Then you kind of want to cut out a sheet of contact paper about the same size as your stickers. And then you're kind of wanting to just break out your straight edge just because it comes in a lot of handy at this point in the tutorial. Alright guys, now that you have your 
clear coat and everything all cut out, you're going to want to peel back an inch to a half inch of uh, your contact paper backing, revealing just this bare um, clear plastic sheet. And now what you're going to want to do is put that on top of your sticker design and you're going to want to set your straight edge right there. Now, you're going to want to get a good firm grip on this, pull it back slowly, and then slide. And now do this really slow. Now slide your straight edge with it to ensure that you don't have air bubbles or anything. Another good tip to have is to put a little piece of tape right here, but I'm at all out of tape, just so you know it's a little bit more secure. And then you're just going to want to do that real slowly until all of your stickers are laminated. So now here's your completed laminated set of stickers, um, no air bubbles, pretty good looking, nice and thin, and now pretty much up to you, just get your scissors, cut them out, you know, and yeah, you're pretty much done after that. You can you can use a straight edge and an X-Acto knife that works wonders, it works a lot better than just scissors, you get nice clean straight cuts, but however, I don't have any X-Acto knives at the moment, so I'm just going to use scissors, and then yeah, I'll come back with the final product. Alright guys, here are the final stickers, um, they look very nice, very glossy, quite a bit of glare catching off the lights, um, yeah, look, they're looking really good, so yeah, that's pretty much it, now if you were tending to use the clear coat method, that's a lot cheaper and I, I recommend it as well, but what I would do, since it's cold outside, I can't demonstrate, but I usually get the clear coat, I spray from 12 to 16 inches away, maybe a little bit less than that, like, like 10 to 14 inches and I just do a light misting and then two minutes in between each misting um, while the stickers are still in sheet form I need to add but yeah just light misting three or four times and they come out looking really good but yeah this is a final product they look really nice um, very easy to make very quick to make very cost effective and yeah put them on your bike skateboard scooter fuck it put it on a stop sign you know, anything really, put them on your car, doesn't matter, so, yep, thanks guys.